Yummy Butter is a black owned business. Salt XO is a black owned business. Divinely Rooted Skin Care is a black owned business. Hey y'all, it's me Lauren, AKA Low So Natural. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't regret it. If you aren't familiar with who I am and what I talk about on my channel, I love talking about natural skincare, hygiene, fragrance, black owned businesses, and everything that feels good to my soul. So if I love it, I'm gonna talk to you about it because you might love it too. I'm gonna do my January's empties video today and I have a number of products to get through. So let's get into them. If you're interested, stay tuned. Bubba in the background, she's over here dropping stuff. So you will probably hear her, but I'm gonna try and get through this video and get it done as smooth as possible. So starting off, I'm just gonna pick stuff at random. This is my Omorphia Cooling Refresh Wipes. It is 25 flushable wipes. It says gynecologically tested. Omorphia is a black owned business. They sell yoni gels and other feminine care products. They sell soaps, body washes, and other skincare products. I highly, highly recommend Omorphia, but I have to be honest, these yoni wipes, they say cooling refresh wipes. I did not get a cooling sensation. They were just kinda subpar. Like they are just kinda average to me i wouldn't say go run and get these if you want some amazing yoni wipes they're just okay now do i feel like they threw my ph balance off no do i feel like they were bad no i just feel like they weren't great i did appreciate though that they were all individually wrapped it says gently cleanses and freshens no residue, no irritation, no burning, made with herbal ingredients. Great for front and back. Y'all know how to use wipes. They're cool. Next up is my Divinely Rooted Skincare Control Facial Wash. This is called a facial wash, but it is very versatile. You can use it on your face, your body, and your hair. I did use it to cleanse my scalp a couple times. I will say I felt like I left my hair kind of dry, but maybe I saw scalp benefits. I'm not really sure because I did not use it consistently. Overall, this was a okay wash. I'm not running to go repurchase this. I primarily used it for my face because it was a wash. It was not a gel consistency. So it took a good amount for me to really feel like I got a great lather for my body, but overall as a facial cleanser, I felt like it was cool, but I feel like if I didn't dilute it with enough water, sometimes it almost felt like it would irritate my skin a little bit, almost like a burning sensation, not harsh, but kind of mild. Now, I don't know of any allergies based on the products it contained but to me it just was a little too harsh for my face at times but it was cool I didn't hate it I didn't love it it has like a an herbal aroma the ingredients have rubbed off but I can try and make out what I see um, I see turmeric powder chlorella aloe marshmallow root sage and rosemary I think I might be missing like one or two ingredients but y'all I finished it I do actually have some more 
products for my face from the control line but it's not the control wash so y'all will see me use those soon and i'll let y'all know how i feel about those products compared to this control product next up y'all this was in my project use it up it is my yummy butter body butter in the scent vanilla pineapple margaritas i was so happy to finish this because i had it about a year i love the way this smells it smells so good it literally smells like a margarita that has pineapple and creamy vanilla <sighs> smells so good yummy butter has a lot of unique scents and I do feel like I am going to support this business in the future, just not at the moment because I need to get through the body butters I have right now. This is not my favorite body butter. It's not my least favorite. It's cool. I would definitely, again, support yeah. Yummy Butter though in the future. The next product is a Salt XO Yoni Gel. I didn't mention before, Yummy Butter is a black owned business. Saw XO is a black owned business. Divinely Rooted Skincare is a black owned business. This is a feminine wash. It has ingredients such as deionized water, vitamin E, cucumber extract, apricot extract, lemon extract, aloe oil, amino acid, oregano herb, olive oil, shea butter, rose oil, cucumber oil, menthol oil, poppy seeds, and malaleuca, which is tea tree. It says spice bacteria, gently neutralizes odor and helps maintain a healthy pH. This is eight ounces. Y'all, if y'all hear me talking fast, it's because I see some stuff going on outside and I feel like people gonna be talking and making noise. So I don't want my video interrupted and I don't wanna come back and do this later. I wanna get it done now, just the FYI. But I've talked about Salt XO plenty of many a times in <sighs> feminine hygiene videos and recent empties because I've had a number of these. I have the same review. I like it. It is not my favorite Yoni wash. I use it different ways for my Yoni, my face, my body. Very versatile. As far as a Yoni cleanser, it's not my favorite. For the price, I feel like you could have a better Yoni wash, but is better than Dove and a lot of other Vagisil and Summer's Eve and whatnot. I like it. Some people love it. It's all a matter of opinion. Next up, look at God. Another Salt XO product. This is the Servant Body Body Scrub. I had this about a year. It smells so good. This was the first time I had ever purchased this scrub. I would indeed purchase this scrub again. Not right now, but I do appreciate it because it lathers. It smells tropical. It smells like sour fruit. Sour not as in gone bad, but like sour as in tart fruit. It's giving me tropical vacation vibes. I really like it. It says exfoliating scrub lightens dark marks and removes dead skin. It includes ingredients such as sugar, kelp, soy, and jojoba oil. I had the OG formula. This formula has since been revamped, not heavily, but they use smaller sugar granules or crystals. So. I feel like the scrub isn't going to be like as abrasive because the sugar crystals in this one were pretty large. I enjoyed it, but I'm sure the Servant Body 2.0 is just as good. The next item is a product I use for my Layla Baba. It is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Chamomile and Argan Oil Baby Wash and Shampoo with Frankincense and Myrrh. It says Calm and Comfort All Skin Types. This is eight fluid ounces. This smells so good. I received a number of these at my baby shower. So this is not the only wash I use for Layla, but I like it. 
that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm not going to repurchase anymore anytime soon because I have so many already. I just love the way it smells. I feel like Layla's skin stays pretty moisturized, but I use a combination of products, but it's cool. The next product is another Thorough Breath mouthwash or oral rinse. This is the Healthy Gums formula. I did really like this one. I would repurchase this. I've talked about their breath in a lot of my recent empties videos. So if you're interested in hearing more about their breath, go check out those videos. But I liked it. It says Spice Gingivitis for 24 hours protects from plaque and tartar. Freshens his breath is the clean mint flavor. I like it. It's not my favorite Thera Breath. It's not my least favorite. It kind of falls in the middle, but I do feel like my gums stayed healthy during the time me using it. Uh-oh. The next product was an amazing body butter from Mama Root. This was the Rose Quartz. Hi, Luke body butter i love i love this scent this is one of my favorite rose scents this rose quartz scent very well might have been the catalyst for me loving rose because when i first smelled this i'm like whoa it's amazing i know it has citrus and rose it is not your grandmother's rose it is not the church lady rose. Like, it is phenomenal. It just uplifts you and makes you feel so pretty because it just smells so good. I highly recommend this product. Am I going to repurchase it? I probably will. Not right now, but I love the rose quartz body wash and body butter. I'm sorry y'all mama root is a black owned business and the texture the texture of this body butter is chef kiss 10 out of 10 12 out of 10 highly recommend the next product is from goddess of the sea beauty it is the healing cocoa butter this i primarily use on layla smells so good just like cocoa butter it is a whipped butter it says our healing cocoa butter is the perfect face and body butter i did use it on my face while i was pregnant and i did enjoy it crafted with organic raw butters and oils to help moisturize and soothe skin cocoa butter is widely known for its ability to reduce appearance of scars black spots stretch marks and more the ingredients are mango butter Cocoa butter, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, and jojoba oil. Top tier. I use this on Layla's body. I use it on her scalp, her face. I use it all over. It is amazing. I use this on my belly while I was pregnant. And again, I use it on my face. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love the scent. Yes. Would I repurchase this? Yes, 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 yes. Goddess of the Sea Beauty is a black owned business. What's next? Oh, another Omorphia product. I finished the Yoni scrub. This is another versatile product that not only did I use it for my Yoni, I use it for my face. This is the second yoni scrub that i have purchased over the years and it lasts me a long time like i had this scrub at least a year the scrub benefits says remove dead skin cells help to reduce ingrown hairs reveal softer and smoother skin brightens and evens out your skin's texture can be used all over the body leaves your skin feeling silky smooth the ingredients are shea butter lemons coconut oil sugar tea tree oil almond oil and poppy seeds i would repurchase this just not at the moment 
this when I first tried it the first time instantly fell in love with it it has an aroma that I can still to this day or cannot put my finger on I don't I can't tell y'all what it smells like because I just don't know but I like this smell I told y'all I got through a number of products I'm proud of myself look at God again another Amorphia product this was the second mistletoe kisses body scrub that I had to get through and I got through it the ingredients are sugar shea butter coconut oil sugar it was on there twice clove oil peppermint oil lemon and jojoba beads this smells like some balsam i think they describe it as a eucalyptus scent but it smells like fresh balsam like some christmas trees so i enjoy using this during the holidays the texture is amazing both this and the Omorphia Yoni scrub both have like a sugary, gritty texture, but it also has a creaminess to it. It's not super creamy like a body polish, but it's also not just straight sugar because it has shea butter in it. So highly recommend these. This, I'm not going to repurchase it anytime soon because I only really enjoy using this during the holidays. But uh, I did pair that scent with my Twisted Peppermint to create my Twisted Peppermint shower routine because Twisted Peppermint has the scent of fresh balsam. I got through another yummy butter. This was the scent Baby Magic, so it smelled like baby lotion. I absolutely love it. I love this scent. When I first got it, I just was like, oh my God. Because I really, really, really love the scent of baby lotion. The crazy thing is, because I don't use Johnson & Johnson products for real, for real, I did not use baby lotion on my daughter at all. So, having my daughter was not the catalyst for me wanting the scent of baby lotion. I just, over the years, have just loved the scent of baby lotion, so this baby magic butter i loved i didn't read to y'all the ingredients for the vanilla pineapple margarita so i will read y'all the ingredients it is shea mango cocum grape seed rose hip primrose calendula cocoi avocado neem emu aloe babasu moringa ashwagandha black seed camellia baobab hemp jojoba perilla and prickly pear I already talked to y'all how I felt about yummy butter. I feel the same way regarding this body butter. Let's see. Oh, only two products left. Okay. This product was an absolute hate. Okay. Hate. Would not rebuy at all. I hate it. Zero out of 10. Would not recommend this. If it'll focus is the Trader Joe's peppermint toothpaste is anti-cavity with baking soda and fluoride hate it the taste is so nasty it tastes like salty mint i hate this with a passion this is one of the worst toothpaste based on taste i've tried in a long long time it took me so long to finish this probably like six months maybe longer like it, it took me so long because i had to alternate other toothpaste just to get through it because I hate it so much. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Would never repurchase that. Last but not least, this product actually, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be in this empties or last month's, but it is the L brand Chlorine Free Ultra Thin Pads. So they are for your menstrual cycle and it is 42 pads with wings this is like the third size I love the L brand I love them since I started using natural feminine hygiene products like yoni washes I also decided to start using natural 
pads. I also have started using natural tampons too from the L brand, but I actually no longer use tampons. I use um, the Flex Disc for the disposable menstrual cups. They are life changing. I love these pads. That's all I can really say about them. I don't experience cramping anymore. I used to use Always and Tampax or any brand, honestly, whichever was cheapest, Kotex. Now I pretty much only buy the L brand pads. So check them out. They have pads, they have panty liners, they have tampons. They might even have feminine washes or whatnot, but I'm not trying none of that. But get into the L brand. L is for love. I think I purchased these off of Amazon in like a two pack or something like that. So you can find this brand in Target, I believe. You can find it in Giant, pretty much all your drug stores. So check them out. I highly recommend it. Y'all, I'm that mom that will eat a couple of my baby yogurt melts because they be hitting. Y'all, yeah, okay. But that completes my empties for the month of January. I look like a chipmunk. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this empties video. I will have more coming for you each month. God willing. And... Yeah, let me know if you've tried any of these products or are interested in trying any of these products. If you made it to the end of this video and you aren't a current subscriber, make sure you subscribe. I invite you to join the Lovelies Tribe, okay? And if you haven't checked out any of my previous empties from the last four or five months, go check them out. I feel like they're fire. I feel like my empties videos are pretty good. I've been staying consistent and getting through the products like I said I wanted to. So that's a good thing. But thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. <laughs>